Sergey Nazarov, co-founder of Chainlink. How are you doing? Welcome back to the show. Great, Matt. Thank you for having me. Recent Good Oracle sure. hacks. Recent Oracle hacks, sir. Harvest, $24 million. Compound, $89 million. You have been talking about this and predicting this for a while now. Do you think that, one, that Chainlink could have avoided these hacks? And tell me how these hacks are happening and how Chainlink would avoid these. Yeah, so I, I think there's a found, foundational kind of issue here where there's an assumption about the complexity of the Oracle problem and data quality around financial products in the decentralized finance ecosystem generally. So I, I think all of these hacks have, have a common thread, whether they're related to flash loans or whether they're related to using a single centralized exchange as a price source. Uh, I think the thread is people are relying on a single um, exchange, whether it's a decentralized exchange or whether it's a centralized exchange as a price source. And, and that is a, a level of essentially centralization risk, which, which is playing out in a very negative way for people that make those architectural decisions. Now, this is something, as you said, we've been trying to explain to people for, 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 for years now. Last year, we, we, we put out a lot of information about this. This year, uh, I spoke very publicly at Ethereal about these specific exact types of issues. And then we put out actually an advisory to, for the developer community, a caution warning, explaining um, exactly how, how these types of exploits would, would unfold. And they've uh, unfolded exactly the way we've described, right? The, the exploit is pretty straightforward. You basically make sure to, 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 to find a DeFi protocol that, that uses a single exchange as its source of price data. You find a way to manipulate that single exchange and you've effectively um, gained some measure of control over this highly decentralized financial protocol, right? And the decentralized financial protocol could be well architected and it could be well audited and it could have good private key security for some kind of multi-sig scheme. But I think people need to start viewing oracles on the same level of, I have to have good private key security, I have to have good smart contract audits and I have to have good oracles. And, and baking your own Oracle is, 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 is in some ways akin to rolling your own crypto or, or making your own private key you know, security device or something like that, because it's, it's a much more complicated problem than, than people assume. And a lot of the times those assumptions become clear once, once there's issues, right? So the, the way that Chainlink solves this problem and has always been resistant to these problems for the first day of its operation is that we don't source data from a single exchange. We, we actually have multiple data providers and we get data from hundreds of exchanges. So this means that the Chainlink system, in addition to being a highly secure and reliable Oracle, has data quality in mind from the beginning. And it is this data quality point that we have been talking about for, for, for well over two years now as a key component of financial products on chain, of decentralized financial products, because a financial product is essentially a set of state changes that is triggered either by signatures from private keys or in DeFi, predominantly by oracles, right? So oracles are the things triggering and essentially allowing the decentralized financial product to know about the world. And if you make an architecture that makes that decentralized financial product have a skewed view of the world or a, or a, or a view of the world that can get manipulated, um, you, you fundamentally on an architectural level have just made a serious kind of error, right? Chainlink fundamentally solves this from day one. We've been architected to solve it because we're exclusively focused on solving this problem. We're focused on solving the problem of Oracle security and the transition of data from off-chain environments into on-chain environments. We're also focused on, on, on generating some amount of data quality, which is once again, why we source data from hundreds of exchanges not one, not two, not three. Unfortunately, I think the next version of this exploit is where people go after protocols that use two or three or four exchanges or one or two exchanges and say, I, have, I don't have one exchange, I have two, I have three. All that does is make it a little bit more difficult. It just means that instead of manipulating the price on a single exchange, you now have to do it on two or three. And I, I think it's a serious concern that both Developers of these uh, protocols should should look into that. Users of the protocol should evaluate uh, on a level of technical risk and the level of technical risk that they're exposed to through using these protocols. And people making new protocols and launching them really have no reason 
to have to build their own Oracle, just like they have no reason to roll their own crypto or make their own private key security devices. There, there are now systems that properly transition data into on-chain environments. And in Chainlink's case, we disperse the sources of that data so widely and in such a decentralized way that for crypto prices, we get that data from hundreds of different exchanges such that we provide you market coverage and a global price. So I, I think that it's, it's a serious issue. I think, unfortunately, it's an issue that's going to continue and that when people architect these systems, they should seriously look at not only how is the Oracle securely delivering the data, but how is that Oracle securely delivering it from a multitude of data sources that are resistant to manipulation? You know, the, the headline takeaway here is you shouldn't be using an on-chain DAX for a price Oracle, period. You shouldn't be using any single exchange as a crypto price Oracle, period. And if your system does that, or if your system does a little bit better than that with two or three exchanges, um, your security team and your internal development team should sit down and begin to seriously reconsider that architecture. Sergey Nazarov, co-founder of Chainlink, thank you for coming on and explaining this and making my job a hell of a lot easier. Great chatting with you, Matt. Thank you again.